Death doesn't scare me, but I don't look forward to it. I'm not like, can't wait, day I die, miraculous day. No, to be honest with you, I, I like to exist like I'm so present, but I use death as a very powerful tool. I like to dance on the edge of it. You think about every single decision you've ever made, you've kind of had to say these powerful words, two of them, fuck it. Now, fuck it is right on the other side of death. And there's something really great about it because it's either ego death, maybe literal death, maybe emotional death, maybe value death, I don't know, whatever you're talking about, but there's some form of death, which means that there's a risk that you are taking there. There's always some sort of risk. Like you may be in Florence, Italy, and you could see people dancing, and you see this one girl, and she's like twiddling her thumbs, and you're there. What are you telling yourself? Oh, I got tomorrow. I got tomorrow. Those are the devil's words. Go fuck it. Death's working with you in this favor. If I died tonight, what would I want to do? I'd be wanting to dance in this Times Square, whatever you call it. I want to be dancing in the, the courtyard with that one girl. Then do it. There's a level of understanding that, hey, your youth dies. So do the points in your life where you thought that you would have had everything. That dies too. Technically everything around us will. I believe that it's something that powers us. If you don't do things for yourself, and if you don't use death as a method to do so, to balance out the life that you have, maybe if it is another 50 days, then you won't be living that exciting, voyeuristic, powerful spiritual experience that we all want. You wanna be free. The only way you're free is when you got death. It is a freeing thought. It's not one that inhibits you. It's one that leads you to action with intention. When you have action and intention, you become the most powerful man in a room. Death is on the other side of that action and intention. You start to think about what can I do with the limited time that I have? Put it here, put it there. What is your limited time that I have? You know, one of the things in relationships, which is fuck forever, don't fall in love with it. Think about what you could do tonight. If you can make something real tonight, then you could make something real for the rest of your lives. Most people don't know that, but it just takes one real, one real decision in your life to change who you are. Just one real, one real action of love, one authentic exchange, one authentic action. You're changed for the rest of your life. It'll change you. Somebody else's love, somebody else's kindness will make you look back at the world and go, you know what? I don't want to burn it down anymore. I don't want to hurt people. I want to be better. I want to be a better man. That's what kindness can do. And I believe that that is the cure to the situation that we ha we have in our life. You know, for people that have been hurt, if you can communicate that you've been hurt to somebody, you are technically playing the same game that allows them to hurt you. But if you communicated what, what, that you are in pain, that you are wounded to somebody that's kind, they will heal you. It will change you. You will walk out of that office or walk out of that door and forever go, it feels that good when you open up. It feels that good when you let somebody in. It feels that good when you create a life of, I'm going to intentionally trust this person.